In this problem, we need to find out the value of the trigonometric ratio sine of the compound angle A plus B and cosine of the compound angle A plus B. We are provided with the value of sine A and sine B and also the condition that A lies between pi over 2 and pi radian and B lies between 0 and pi over 2 radian. Let us begin. Now, let's first try to find out the value of sine A plus B. Now, in order to find out this value of sine A plus B, we need to first expand it. The sine A plus B, it expanded as sine A multiplied to cosine B plus cosine A multiplied to sine B. So here, we are have the value of sine A and sine B, meaning now we need to find out the value of cosine B and cosine A. So let us do that. We will start with the value of sine A, which is given as 12 over 13. Now we're going to use a trick here. So let's say we have a right angle triangle and this is given by angle A, the vertices A, B and C. It's right angle to angle C. Now if we consider this angle A, then sine of angle A, which is defined as the ratio of perpendicular to hypotenuse. So that means we have BC over AB. Now it's given that BC the sine of A, this is given as 12 over 13. So we can assume that the sides are in the ratio 12 is to 13. So we can say the sine of angle A, since it's in the ratio 12 is to 13, now we can say BC, let this be 12 and AC and AB is given by 13. Now, since it's a right angle triangle, then the third side, which is AC, must be B, so that this forms a right angle triangle. So this is a triplet, 5, 12 and 13. Now, now that we have all the sides, we can now find out the value of cosine of angle A. So cosine of angle A, that's defined as the ratio of the base to that of the hypotenuse. So we have pi over 13. Now it's given here that angle A lies between pi over 2 and pi radians. Now since, let's write it down, since A lies between pi over 2 and pi, so this means that our angle A lie in the second quadrant. Now, what's the value of a cosine function in the second quadrant? We know that the cosine function, that's going to be negative in the second quadrant because only the sine and its uh, cosecant function is positive in the second quadrant. So that means cosine of angle A must be equals to negative 5 over 13 in the second quadrant. Fine. Next, we'll try to find out the value of uh, cosine B. Now we are given let's again work with the second one we are given here the value of sine of angle b so sine of angle b that's 4 over 5. so now we will consider a new triangle this time we'll call it a b c in such a way that it's a uh, right angle at c and b uh, we're here we're given b here so if we can define sine of b sine of b is defined as the perpendicular to that of the hypotenuse that's the ratio of sine b and then sine b is also given as equals to 4 over 5 so we can say that ac measure 4 units and ab measures 5 units so this is a right angle triangle so the third side must be 3 so the 3 4 and 5 forms a pythagorean triplet now that we have all the three sides we can immediately find out the value of cosine of b which is nothing but the ratio of the base to that of the hypotenuse bc over ab so its value is going to be 3 over 5. So that's cosine of b and it's given here that b lies in the first quadrant because 0, b is lying between 0 and pi over 2 means that b lies in the uh, first quadrant. Now in the first quadrant, in the first quadrant uh, all trig functions are positive so cosine b value that's simply 3 over 5. So what we can do? We can plug this value into sine a cos b plus cosine a sine b and then we're going to get, so let's plug this value here, so sine of a, it's 12 over 13, that's already provided to us. Cosine of b, that came out as positive 3 over 5. Then we have cosine of a, which is 5 over 13. And sine, uh, cosine of a is a negative 5 over 13. And sine of b, so that's positive 4 over 5. So when we solve this, then we are going to get positive 16 over 65. So this is going to be the value of sine a plus b. Now let's fire, try to find out the value of cosine of a plus b. Fine. That is very simple because cosine, first we will expand cosine of a plus b. So the expansion of cosine of a plus b, so that's equals to cosine of a times cosine of b minus sine of a multiplied to sine of b. So what's the value of cosine of a? So that uh, came out to be as negative 5 over 13 multiplied to cosine of b. The cosine of b is positive 3 over 
5 minus sine of a so sine of a uh, that's 12 over 13 and multiply to sine of b sine of b that's 4 over 5 fine so let's find out this value so we have negative 15 over 65 minus 48 over 65 so this is going to give us a value 6 negative 63 over 65 so this is going to be the value of cosine of a plus 